folks, Landon Schwartz here, senior sous chef at the Pomeroy Kananaskis Mountain Lodge. Been here since just the end of November 2020 and through 2021. I am in charge of running Forte Restaurant as well as the Blacktail Lounge. Uh, we have what's called the Pomeroy Power Bowl. It is made and crafted just for you folks here at the Kananaskis Mountain Lodge. It's a completely vegetarian Power Bowl. It's going to be composed of roasted sweet potato, black beans, tomato, zucchini, fennel, and some quinoa, finished with a little bit of lime and cilantro sour cream. First step is to get that quinoa cooked off. It's going to be what takes the longest. The standard ratio for quinoa is three parts liquid to one part quinoa. So we've got 100 grams of quinoa in there, 300 milliliters of water. So what we've got here is uh, we've got our vegetables ready to go and I'm gonna demo some knife work for you while we're waiting for all this stuff to get ready. I've got my pan heating right here for the sweet potatoes. So for the fennel, we're just gonna take half a bulb and we're just gonna do really nice thin slices. Go until you get to the core and then you can stop and you can flip it over and you can go around the core. You can set that aside. Next, we're gonna cut our zucchini, just half a zucchini. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a dice. So when you're dicing something, you wanna work with the flattest side possible. So you cut a little side off like that so it sits nice and flat. And then you can just drag your knife, use the tip to drag it through. And then you create some nice flat pieces to work with. Again, drag the tip of your knife through. Most important part about using a knife and properly is to keep your digits safe. So you want to tuck your fingernails in and you want to use your the outside of your fingers as kind of your guideline, but just never go like this because that's when you'll end up with your knife coming right down on your fingers. So you use it like that and just use your knife as a guideline. Go slow if you need to. Fingertips are not an ingredient in the Pomeroy Power Bowl. Next, we're gonna make our cilantro sour cream. We're gonna take half of our cilantro. And this cut is called a chiffonade, or leaves of grass, blades of grass. So we wanna roll the herbs up and we wanna get our knife really close. And again, same thing, use your fingers as the guideline. Don't stick your fingers out. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you can just run your knife through like that and do more of a chop or a mince. Let me mix that in to our sour cream. Got a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. We're gonna set this aside for later because this is gonna be the topper to the power bowl. Our lime all nice and cut up. So we like to roll it. This activates the juices and softens the pulp inside the lime. Cut the ends off. Again, giving yourself a flatter space to work with. Straight in half. set those aside for later. So we've been preheating our pan to roast off the sweet potato. We're gonna add our olive oil, two tablespoons, 30 milliliters. We're gonna add our potatoes into there. We want this on medium to high heat, but we do want a little bit of color. And at this point, again, we're gonna salt, a little bit of pepper. Key with getting the, the pan nice and hot is to avoid the sticking of the potato to the pan and to get some color as mentioned before. As you can see, we've got our quinoa rumbling way back there. We stir it periodically, but you can leave the lid off. We like to keep stirring them as often as possible. You don't want them to get burnt. We want to make sure that they cook evenly and get a nice caramelization evenly. So now we can see our sweet potatoes or our yams are getting a little bit of color to them. And then what we want to do is we actually want to make sure that they're getting nice and soft as well. You can use a spoon or you can just use your fingers. I like to give it a little squish. That's how I know it's ready. Same with the quinoa back here. It's almost done. What you're looking for, is they're almost like little clams. So you want them to open up a little bit and you want that grain to start exposing itself. So they're like little clams. So you want the grain to start opening up a little bit. You should see the ring on the outside starting to expand. You don't want it to blow wide open, but you want it to expand. So we're almost there, just a couple more minutes. Now that we know that our sweet potatoes are all done, take our vegetables and add our fennel. Again, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. What the salt allows the fennel to do is it actually allows it to soften a little bit pulls some of the moisture out. And you can either stir this or you can give it a nice toss. You just want the fennel to ever so slightly soften a little bit, keep it nice and fresh, keep it nice and crunchy. Then we're gonna add our zucchini and our tomato. 
Again, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Same reasons, you want some of that moisture to come out. You want that vegetable to soften a little bit quicker. I'm gonna add my chili powder, my cumin. I'm gonna let that cook out a little bit. And we're gonna add our black beans. Now we just wanna cook it until the black beans are heated through. So we'll just leave it for a couple minutes. Just we're waiting for our quinoa. Now we can see our quinoa has been cooked out. All the moisture is out of it. So we can take it off the heat. And we can add it in with the remainder of our Power Bowl. We'll just stir everything in. A little bit more salt and pepper. I like to add just a spot of olive oil right at the end. This helps it make almost a little bit more like a salad. And then I'm gonna add a few squeezes of lime from the wedges that we cut earlier and we're ready to serve. Garnish it with a little bit fresh cilantro or coriander, depending on what part of the world you're from. Cilantro sour cream. Okay, folks, stay tuned at the Bare Necessities for more information regarding these meal kits. All these ingredients that we're demoing today will be part of your meal kits moving forward. What I want you to take from these videos and from this program is that I know cooking for yourself at home can be a little bit intimidating sometimes, especially when you're presented with limited space and limited resources. But what we've done for you here today is we've crafted these recipes so that cooking can be a little bit more fun. You can grab a hold of your own situation and you can cook yourself something delicious and something easy in what I call one pan wonders. There's something very rewarding about being able to cook for yourself and nourish yourself properly. It's very easy to go down the street and go to Tim Hortons, but I would argue that this is almost easier. Enjoy.